What's going on guys and welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope everyone is doing well as always. And we are back again with another video. Signing number four is done and over the line. George Friend has signed for the gas on a one year deal. Of course I did talk about it and we all knew anyway after Barton's comments on the Bristol Live that he was going to be the next sign in. Of course he's been training with Rover since the start of pre-season and now it's finally over the line. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below. I know a few of you commented on the video about him the other day, but now it's over the line. Let me know all your thoughts down below. Are you happy? Are you underwhelmed? Some people might be in the middle, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Can we get 70 likes on the video if possible? That would be class. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any Bristol Rovers content. But yeah, George Friend done and dusted over the line, signing number four, adding to Luke Thomas, Giovanni Brown and James Wilson, all on free transfers. Of course, this is a one-year deal. Currently 35, but he'll be 36 in October. But for me, I, I've already said on my you know other video I, I've done, I'm, I'm really happy with it personally. Of course, I hope we can see, of course, the best of him and I hope he can do really well in a Rovers shirt. But... You know, like we've talked about losing the experience of Whelan and Paul Coots, I think it's a quality addition, to be honest. He still he can still more than do a job, especially in League One. I know he hasn't played a lot over the last two years um, at Birmingham, where he's been since 2020. Uh, I think he's made about 21 games um, in the last two seasons. But with his quality and experience, I think he can more than do a job and of course the other mad thing that I didn't realise is that he was at the Rovers School of Excellence in 1997 in the under nines when I was one years of age with Scott Sinclair which is also another mad thing to note and you know started his career off at Exeter in 2005 he was there for three years before going to Wolves on a permanent deal had a few loan spells out there as well at Scunthorpe, Millwall South End, um, etc. Before then making a permanent move to Doncaster, where he spent two seasons. Before then going to Middlesbrough, where he's played the best of his football. And a lot of Middlesbrough fans I've already seen on Twitter have said that he was quality for them. I know obviously he's a different age now, but he spent eight years there from 2012 to 2020, making nearly 300 appearances. And then, like I said, been at Birmingham the last three seasons. A career this nearly hitting 500 appearances and like I said the quality I think and experience it, it will only add um, to the quite young defence that we've got I know of course we've brought in Wilson who's 34 but he would be a quality mentor to, to Lewis Gordon of course both in the same position I think Friend can also play it at centre back it's going to be interesting now I, I might do another video on this about the Alfie May situation that we're interested in if we do get then He's mainly played in a front two, so Rovers last season, we did play in a front two up till January, and of course then it changed to only one up front, which was mainly Coburn and Collins was on the wing, so be interesting to see what happens if we do get Alfie May, etc, but that's not done yet, that's only, you know, rumours, we've heard it from John Palmer and Bristol Live as well, but... Yeah, for me, like I said, I really like him, the George Friend sign, and hopefully he can do well. And like I said, add that experience and quality to the squad, which is looking really good. Um, fourth signing, let me know, Gasses, how many more signings do you think we'll make after signing our fourth player today? But overall, really happy with the signing. And yeah, thanks for watching. Leave all your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Appreciate the continued support as ever. It is always class. And see you on the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment your thoughts, and I'll see you in the next one. Up the gas.